Time to turn our turbo BRZ into a turboed rally BRZ with all of this beautiful goodness. We've been anticipating these boxes. Will is, Will is so excited. What is in these boxes? I mean, all you need to know is that. Ooh, and we got our subframe spacers as well. I have a deep obsession and love with suspension. We have uh, subframe spacers here so we can get our suspension geometry and see the angles all, you know, not wonky. My Subaru is dirtier than your Jeep. Look at that beef. Factory ones look like this. And I mean, this is the rear, but the thing is the rears don't have to hold any sort of like side loads. They just travel up and down because they're on a, like a double A arms or a multi-link setup. The fronts are McPherson strut, which means this top hat is the steering pivot. So when you turn that, that rotates there on that spherical bearing thing, this shock is taking all sorts of loads. Like if you hit a jump too hard, ask me how I know. So having this massive shaft makes it much, much sturdier. I got your dream wheels for the BRZ. They're Black, Black Rhino, Rhino boxers. Rhino. They're even called a boxer because yeah. they're made oh, for wow. Subarus. Yeah, it yeah. fits like perfectly. <laughs> we got some, I think they're roughly 28 inches in diameter. Uh, Falcon Wild Peaks. It doesn't look like we'll have to do too much chopping. I mean, it's hard to say without, you know, driving it and steering it. Terrible, honestly. Once again, it is that time. Come in close. No wonder this car rides terribly. Oh. <laughs> I think that's how they're supposed to go. Mm, definitely. <laughs> also, I like how the spring is just only this tall. Mm, you don't need travel. No. That's just, you just dip it. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, these ones are inverted versus these ones, which means uh, less unsprung weight because the shock itself, the part that's moving up and down, weighs less. I'm gonna be installing some subframe spacers because we're gonna be doing this before I install the suspension because if you look at the rear suspension, there's quite a difference. basically just a brake line extender bracket. So if we had this bracket and we went to do some gnarly jump, we'd literally just rip our brake line right off. So these are cool little extenders for flat out sent us. It is a lot taller now. At full droop, we cannot get the tires on anymore. And it's gonna be quite the chore to get this lifted up high enough to actually install the tires. Oh, dude, we're gonna need some clearancing going on. These tires don't even fit anymore. Now that it's higher, it actually makes it worse because when it was low, the tire was up here and there was less, it, less of the arch was contacting the body of the car. Now I actually can't even get the tire on the BRZ because it's at full droop. Yeah, that's good to know because we definitely destroy this car if we took it off a jump. And that happened. <laughs> just needs a tiny so little. So just snip the corner. Just 
It's so small. I love oh it. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in one of those uh, Fortnite cars, you know, like the weird little like... Yeah, so right there, they definitely rub on that unibody. I'll have to hammer that in, but only a smidgen. Man, that is tall. Wow. That is the coolest looking thing I have ever seen. First impression, it's amazing but it's a little stiffer than I'd like. I was imagining it being like really soft and cushy, but then I was thinking about it and like, that's not what a rally car would be. Like rally cars are meant to be smooth at like 80 miles an hour. Yeah. This is, it's not meant to be smooth at 20 miles an hour. No. We weren't even going 20. At 20, yeah. it would be smooth. And yeah. then like, if you jump it, when we jump it, it'll land smooth and not like break itself. It's just so weird driving around in a BRZ through the woods. This video is sponsored by eBay Motors and we got almost every part we needed to build this BRZ on eBay Motors. Now that we have all the major components on the BRZ, let's talk about how much it costs. We got these awesome Black Rhino boxer rims and they cost $337. Wrapped in these super aggressive Falcon Wild Peak AT3s that cost $644. We love the BRZ, but it was kind of slow, so we added this Rev9 Turbo Kit that cost $1,890. Excluding flat out suspension, the total project cost is $2,871. We got all these parts on eBay Motors, they shipped super quick, and we knew they were gonna fit the BRZ because of the My Garage feature. The My Garage feature allows you to input your car and eBay Motors will make sure that you get the part that you're looking for. eBay Motors has over 122 million parts, so no matter how weird your ride is, there is a part for you. So we felt like the rear was a little bit stiff and it definitely did ride a little higher in the rear than the front. So um, we're just adjusting that a little bit. And luckily everything clears in the rear. There was no, no clearance issues back there. The exhaust runs into the subframe because we did the subframe spacers. Conveniently, this little short chunk here, which is the part that hits the subframe, uh, can be unbolted. And I have, a couple pieces of stainless bends of the right size. So I'm gonna figure out where it needs to be cut and added to so that it can go around the subframe without running into it. Someone has to look at how janky this speakering wire is. It's crazy jank. There's just positives and negatives, like twisted together by hand, sitting right there. Oh no. Like undone. They're not even crimped or anything. Wait, was this even plugged into anything? Yeah, it was plugged into that. Oh, I mean, that. that's the factory wire, speaker wire. But then it goes to a controller for the, for the sub. sub. That isn't here. It's one of the worst yeah. things ever. Like people are like, oh yeah, I can install a stereo, sure. And they just and tap they, into And then they just do everything so poorly. Like these wires, some of these aren't even electrical tape. No, they're just twisted they're together. Just twisted together. It's <laughs> it should be illegal. It should, that's a hazard. Well, like, yeah, that actually, is a it's, fire hazard. It is, and it's not far from the gas tank either. No, it's close to the gas tank, right under their carpet. So the moral of the story is, if you don't know what you're doing, don't touch your wiring. <laughs> you having fun in there, Will? <laughs> Just making things safety. That's what I do. Safety, Will. That's a very inaccurate statement. Oh. oh. <laughs> When I cut out this extra section here, I cut it just a little bit too short. This is actually tacked together the way it fits. Um, you can see there's a gap here, which I will fill. It looks really bizarre, but um, it clears and also gets the middle section up higher um, so it doesn't drag on stuff. Time to cut a little slice of pie. <laughs> While Ethan is welding up the exhaust, I am gonna start 
installing our boost gauge. So I'm gonna go around and start uh, putting in some vacuum lines to get this installed. We'll fix the oil leak, hopefully fix the exhaust leak, and then I fixed the exhaust rubbing on the subframe back there, and we did some adjustments all around to the shocks and the tire pressure. It's time to take it for a proper rip. Something loose in the trunk though, it sounded like something was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's probably something in there. Oh, the spare tire wasn't attached. Ha! That's what it Got was. Because it looked good, but it sounded terrible. Uh, like you hit it and it was like, go boosh! <laughs> and I was like, yeah. oh! This is the very first Grind Hard build that we are giving away. All you need to do is go to grindhardplumbingco.com and for every $5 you spend, you will be entered to win this car. We have a bunch of awesome new merch and if you're worried about it passing emissions in your city, don't worry about it because if you don't want the car, we'll just give you $10,000. And the BRZ is not done. It's still getting a proper dyno tune, a roof rack, a wrap, and much more. So stay tuned. It looks so good churning up dust. Mm -hmm. And all of this, and we can't even rev it past five grand yet. Uh, that was that was above five grand. <laughs> my ear, my ear tack telling me that was. The thing is, it's on dirt, and the five grand is like. It's not a hard limit, it's just like above that, we don't really know if it's safe because when the tuner was doing his thing, one of the pins was, didn't match on the ECU, so he wasn't getting info about the fuel map or oh. something. So it's like, it's probably fine, and on dirt, like it doesn't have enough traction to give it enough load to cause issues. Honestly, that looks pretty good for a flat landing. Yeah. That looks solid. Uh. 